What's up everybody, I'm Alex and in this video I'm going to show you a very interesting symbiosis between a gimbal and a selfie stick. This is the Mosin Nano SE. The Mosin Nano SE is a selfie stick with a one axis gimbal on the top of it and I have to say that this is a very handy device if you are going to use it with a well stabilized phone. The thing that I mean about a well stabilized phone is that uh, it's suggestible to use a phone with optical image stabilization and to use the Mosin Nano SE for horizon leveling because the yaw axis that is available on this gimbal is for the horizon leveling and I have to say that I pretty much like how everything goes when I'm filming with my phone. For the sake of the video, I have been testing this device with two different phones, with Redmi Note 10 Pro and with OnePlus 9 Pro, so one of the phones is not stabilized at all and the other phone has an optical image stabilization. First of all, the Moza Nano SE can carry up to 250 grams phones, which is, uh, I have to say, pretty much. Pretty much because uh, not most of the phones are going to be at this weight, especially the new Xiaomi phones that are extremely lightweight. So in this case, with my OnePlus 9 Pro, I had no problems at all. If you're having an iPhone 12 or 13 Pro Max, you won't be having any issue at all too. I have to say that, uh, first of all, I was a little bit skeptical about this device because uh, I was thinking that I'm not going to use a selfie stick that much. The other thing is that uh, when I'm traveling, when I'm traveling to foreign countries, I'm using only my phone because in some of the countries I'm traveling only with my backpack and I have to rely only on my phone. In this case, something like the Mosin Nano SE can do a very good job because it is a selfie stick. You can expand it like this and you can use your main sensor of the camera even for a ultra wide image because you can stretch your hand and you can film yourself. The thing that is good here is that the horizon will be level 2 because of the motor that you have in this thing. For powering the Nano SE you have one button on the left side and also you have some lighting indicators that are going to indicate about the level of the battery that you have. And while talking about the battery this thing has 10 hours of life so it is uh, enough in my opinion and when you have to charge it uh, you have to know that it will take up to two and a half hours. One of my most favorite things about uh, almost any gimbal is to have a built-in tripod. So the Mosin Nano SE has a built-in tripod that you can stretch out, you can put it on even surface and you can walk away from the phone if you want to take a selfie or something like this. And how are you going to use the shutter of the camera? It is pretty easy. You just have to remove the remote control from the body of the selfie stick and you can use it because this remote control pairs simultaneously to the phone and to your gimbal. The remote control has four buttons. One of it is for triggering the camera, two are for zoom and one of the buttons is to change the orientation of the phone so you can go in vertical mode or in horizontal. Uh, if you want to make a TikTok or something you can go in vertical and for YouTube you know you have to go in horizontal mode so you can do this with a single press of the button which is very handy and I appreciate it. I have to say that the zoom features that it has are not one of the best because I have been using the Xiaomi phone which is working absolutely great uh, while zooming but the OnePlus is not uh, working at all with the zoom features of this remote so it depends on your phone maybe. One of the interesting things is that uh, you cannot change the battery of the remote control. And actually you can, but it is a little bit strange of a procedure, because if you want to open it up, you have to remove the back sticker, you have four bolts that you have to unscrew and to change the battery. After you change the battery, you have to repair it again with the gimbal, with holding these two buttons, the top and the bottom button. Moza has a very interesting app for your smartphone and uh, you can use it for making time lapse. You can use it for making slow motion videos, for normal videos, for four. Photos. Also they have some cinematic interesting modes that you can use for making uh, stories or something like this but I have to say that I'm not a fan of uh, third party apps. I have been using the native apps on the phone because the quality there remains the same and uh, from my experience that I have with many different gimbals for smartphones I have to say that the apps that are coming with the gimbals are ruining the quality a little bit so that's why I'm sticking with the native app of the phone. Overall I have to say that I've been seeing myself using the Mosa Nano SE more and more because it is very handy for me when I'm traveling and making a video only with my phone. When I have to leave the phone somewhere and film myself while talking uh, to the camera or while I have to make a selfie or something like this for the social media. So this is a very handy device and the best thing is that it comes at 45 US dollars and I'll leave you a link down below at the Mosa website. So my final conclusion is that the Mosa Nano SE is a very interesting device that can give you some 
some options to stabilize your image, to stabilize your horizon of the phone. And uh, this is maybe the final touch of a very well stabilized phone to use something like this for even horizon to look a little bit more cinematic, to look a little bit better. And I have to say that I can give something like uh, 4.5 out of 5 for this device. And I'm taking some points because of the remote control that you cannot recharge and uh, no one actually tells you how to open it or something like this. And overall, I think that uh, it deserves a thumbs up from me. This device is provided by Moza, but the video is not sponsored in any term and they didn't have the option to see the video before I post it. So thank you guys for watching this video, I hope you find it useful and I hope you like it. If it is so, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. If you want, you can share the video to get to more people and I'll see you in the next review. Bye!